Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So, um, uh, yeah, I was just doing some research on, uh, you know, the definition of uh, crypto and uh, crypt. And, um, you know, as I was doing, you know, research on that, this, um, this uh, breaking news just, you know, flashed across my, uh, my screen, you know, as an alert. So, you know, uh, I took that as a sign from Yahweh Bashim Shai to just, uh, you know, actually bring the information out, you know, as a lesson and Lord willing, it be edifying unto the elect. So as you see here, the uh, New York City mayor, all right, the uh, Eric Adams, okay, the new, uh, new mayor, okay, um, which is a, a Jake, it says here he wants to launch a crypto coin for his city. All right, and then a person adds, these stupid politicians are making it easy for the USD, which stands for US dollar, to lose its reserve currency status, which, um, you know, ultimately, that's what, uh, you know, all, uh, all, all these things are leading to, okay, because cryptocurrency and this new system, all right, and Esau's uh, uh, great reset is going to have... Uh, you know, cryptocurrency, the, these Federal Reserve banks all across uh, the B system are pushing quickly towards digital um, currency. All right. This digital uh, world that Esau is, um, you know, rapidly and swiftly trying to implement. So, you know, going into this, you know, <laughs> these people that get um, into office, they all are, you know, in cahoots with the uh, with establishing this uh, 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 NWO. All right. They all are, you know, working toward the um, that uh, that that goal of these uh, wicked rulers of the darkness of this world, which is towards that uh, Revelation 13 and 16 society. Now, seeing that here. And going into what I was uh, researching, so the um, definition, okay, are the are the uh, prefix for cryptocurrencies is crypt, and as you see, it says crypt, an underground room or vault beneath a church, used as a chapel or burial place. All right, so the word is um, crypt, and that's where you get the word crypto from. Now, you know, what I was uh, seeing through the spirit where this uh, crypt, it says it's, it's uh, beneath uh, a church. OK, now the scriptures, let's get it here in the book of I'm just going to go to Matthew 16 and 18. And see how it all ties together. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, and, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay? So, the Lord said he's going to build his church upon uh, uh, the rock, okay, Peter, which, you know, Peter is the head of the church, right? Now, when you go into the word church here, It says, let's hear it. Strong's G, 1577, Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Ecclesia, right? Now, we know it's an assembly, right? But when you go down to B, it says the assembly of the Israelites. Because the true church of Yahweh Shai all right, the elect are all who? Israelites. Okay? So that's why they call the Christians, all right, uh, which the Israelites that followed Yahweh Shai was called Christians. Okay? But they were the church or the body of Yahweh Shai. Right? 
the church slash the body is synonymous, but they are all assembly, an assembly of Israelites that believe on Yahweh Shai. So now going back to the definition of um, crypt, it says an underground room or vault beneath a church. So you put the, in order to have the cryptocurrency used, all right, in, in, in reference to the uh, karagma, it has to be put underneath the body, okay? Which, you know, underneath the, the first layer of your, of your uh, you know, of your organs, which is your skin, all right? Because your, your skin is, is an organ, you see, so you put the you put the the karagma underneath your skin, all right, in our AKA, which is the body, all right, AKA the assembly of the Israelites, which is why when you do that, you are committing a sin that is worthy and punishable of death. So let's get the um, the uh, uh, judgment of getting that getting that uh karagma revelation chapter 13 verse 9 it says and a third angel uh followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his right hand or in his forehead the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into his cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Why? Because you 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 taking that um that that karagma is a direct violation of you um um uh uh a direct violation of the will, all right, and the covenant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because you are now making a covenant or an allegiance to an, another God, all right, and to an idol, all right? And that's what Esau is uh, is forming and fashioning, fashioning this society to do. So now going back, let's go to another precept. This is the book of 1 Corinthians 3. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16 it says know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high all right the church the body of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you if any man defile the temple of the most high him shall the most high destroy for the temple of the most high is holy which temple ye are okay so you defile your your the temple of the Most High, aka the the body of Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, by putting that karagma inside of you, and in you doing that has a result of the Most High destroying the temple, all right, which is what your body, okay. So that's why taking that karagma is is a a sin that is going to be punishable by death with no with no uh uh re remission of sins with no uh forgiveness because you have willingly defiled your body all right by pledging your allegiance by making a covenant with uh, uh Esau Edom and his system all right worshiping the beast and receiving his 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 uh image his mark now going back to the definition Something even more, in, uh, you know, um, connecting how crypto, all right, this cryptocurrency is directly tied to the uh, karagma. Because when you go now to down here, I tell, it says, why is it called crypto? It says, basically, cryptocurrencies are entries about token in this decentralized consensus database, which you can clearly see now. Uh, it's, it's about to become centralized, all right. And who controls the central banks? The the wicked, all right. The scriptures tells you that what that the wicked, uh, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, all right. So these 
these uh, elites of this world, all right, the child deans of this world, they're the ones that control the, the decentralized banks, which in essence controls the 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 ways and and uh, and, the, and the ways of this world. All right. So it says they are called cryptocurrencies because the consensus keeping process is secured by strong cryptography. Cryptocurrencies are built on cryptography. Now, when you go to uh, crypto, it means uh, hidden, right? Let's go. Crypto, cryptus. It's uh. Actually, let me just pull it up here. Just add the O to the to the end of it. It says. <laughs> crypto a person having a secret allegiance to a political creed especially communism okay and you can see how <laughs> in a lot of people in the political realm a lot of these uh you know uh uh, uh um so-called truthers they're saying how uh um america okay babylon the great is becoming a communist uh country you know, with their whole uh, push toward, you know, uh, 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 two tier society. All right. The haves and the haves nots. All right. The the fact that they're they're using federal uh, powers to to control private sectors. OK, you had um, Biden just came out with a, a list. I didn't read it. Um, you know, Lord will I read it later. But with a list of uh, of uh, um, rules that the private sector must do. When it comes to the the the, the juice and in, in the in the non juiced, how they how they are to you know um, treat the juiced and the non juiced, you see, so it says a person having a secret allegiance to a political creed. What is that political creed? All right, the B system. Okay, and that that allegiance is you worshiping the beast. So going down, it says crypto concealed or secret. And where is it concealed in? It's concealed in your skin. Okay? Because it covers your skin when they inject it, when they carve or cut into your skin, right? And they inject that karagma into you, okay? Your skin will cover it up. It will conceal it. So when people have the the, the chip, they you can't see the chip in people's, you know, um, in people's bodies. All right. But why? Because it's been concealed. It's in secret. But you taking that is you having that allegiance with the beast. All right. So now going down, it says cryptos. Now, when you go to um, currency, which I have here also, it says, um, so lucky, let's just load up. It says a currency is the most specific sense in the most specific sense is money in any form when it when in use or circulation as a medium of exchange okay so is read it again a, a currency in the most most specific sense is money in any form okay and cryptocurrency is money right in a form of digital okay it's still is still being used as money, and you and once again, that's where this is society is uh, warp speeding towards money that is in a form of digitalized, and they're going to centralize this digital money. So it says in any form, when in use or circulation as a medium, meaning the middle ground of exchange. So going back now to. Um, this uh, definition, so like it, right? It says crypto to be hidden. Now, when you go to back down here, why is it called crypto? It says cryptocurrencies is built on crypto. Now we know crypto means concealed or hidden. Okay, uh, of of a uh, what of a person having a secret alliance or to a political creed. Now let's say cryptocurrencies built on cryptography. Now let's go to let's see what the word graphy means. All right. And that's why you know it's, it's important to go go to these words, man. All right. Now you go edamon edamononline.com, the suffix graphy, because the prefix is crypto, which means hidden, 
or are concealed, a person having a secret alliance to a political creed, the B system, the, the, the suffix is um, graphy. So it says a word forming element, meaning process of writing or recording or a writing, recording or description. All right. Um, go down. It says write expressed by written characters early earlier to draw represent by lines originally originally to scrape or scratch from the pie root uh, gerbi to scratch or carve. All right. To carve. Now you go to what carve is. It says to cut. All right. That's straightforward to cut to cut out. To scratch. So now to let's so it says here once extensively used in the in the general verb to cut. All right. Now let's go to the word back in Revelation 13, verse 16. It says, and he causeth all Salakia. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now let's go to the root of the word that is there. Mark, karagma. Okay, a stamp imprinted, a thing carved, sculptured, graven work of idolatrous imagery, images, a scratching or etching. Right now, let's go to the root word of this, which is karax. Right, it says the idea of scratching. Now, the root word of karax, what does it say? Grapho, where you get the word graphy from. And it's the same definition to write with reference to the form of letters. All right, to write, to commit to writing, to write one. Okay, same thing. Going here to grave, especially to write. So it's the same thing, man. To carve, basically, this, to grave and to carve is, is, is synonymous, synonymous words. So this karagma, all right, that Marcus is literally tied to cryptocurrency because cryptocurrencies, as we just read in the definition, is what? Is built on. Let's go back. Oh, so like up here, cryptocurrencies is built on cryptography, and you just we just read that the uh, the 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 root word of karagma is graphy. All right, which is to carve. Okay, hidden crypto, concealed hidden uh, 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 an allegiance. A secret allegiance to a political creed, graphy to carve. And that's how in the in the suffix currency, which is why it said what? That it's the medium uh um money for use for a medium of exchange, and that's why it said you won't be able to buy or sell, because that's what currency is used for. It's used as a as a tool of exchanging goods. You see, so you know, hey, <laughs> The the Lord is, uh, is 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 clearly you know showing that this is it, man. All right, uh, the elder apostle Tahar did a video said the 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 uh, I think it was something to the effect that that the karagma uh, is our MOTB is what you know we say it is, and that's it. That's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that's through that's through the understanding and the Holy Spirit giving us the understanding of what it is, and they're going to use cryptocurrency. As the tool to uh, uh, to to buy and sell, and that karagma, okay, <laughs> that that what's going to be carved into you is going to be uh, 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 tied to cryptocurrency, man. So, you know, just wanted to bring that up, Lord willing. This is edifying, edifying unto the elects, uh, unto the elects, uh, Salakia, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakudash. Till next time, Shalom.